Welcome back. So, uh, well, the, as promised, the next company on our radar is uh, one that's going to be making its way to the street shortly. Bazaar-style retail. Uh, the IPO is opened out for subscription today. The IPO is consisting of a fresh issuance of shares worth 148 uh, crore rupees and an offer for sale. Uh, for about 687 crore rupees. To talk about the plans and the way forward, we have with us uh, Mr. Pradeep Kumar Agarwal, Chairman Bazaar Style Retail, and uh, uh, MD Shyant Surana also joining in. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for being with us. Uh, Mr. Kumar, I'll open out with you. So uh, tell us so the whole thought process, the rationale, because a lot of this is OFS, the money going into the company is less than 150 crores, and I think you're using a lot of that, most of that, to repay debt. So tell us what will your debt levels be once you, uh, you know, uh, repay and uh, just the reason for coming to the market and uh, what you envisage ahead. Yeah, yeah. The, we are uh, mainly using the uh, uh, proceeds uh, to repay the loan and our company will be debt free after uh, this uh, IPO. Right. Okay. Uh, Gentlemen, uh, good morning and uh, congratulations on the uh, issuance. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Agarwal, if you can uh, tell us, you are la you're the sort of largest, you've got the largest retail footprint in Eastern India, right? Versus other... Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we are the largest footprint in Eastern India. So, a direct, com a di so, VMart also operates in some of the markets where you're present? Yes, yes, VMart is also there, VMart, B2 is also there in some of right. the market in Eastern region. You know, uh, how, how are prospects looking? I mean, I was looking at your matrices compared to the other listed players, but how are prospects uh, looking? Because at the lower end for the longest time, uh, you know, uh, lo I mean, we've been speaking with Vmart for quite a bit, and they've been telling us demand remains quite subdued, et cetera, et cetera. And then recent, not recently, but over the last couple of years, there is uh, Tata Zudio, which has come through. Uh, in that segment, and they've sort of grown rapidly. So just give us a sense of what are prospects looking like for you from a market demand perspective in terms of the products you're offering? Yeah, Judeo is basically uh, uh, value fashion. Uh, mm -hmm. They are offering the fashion garments only. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the copy of Jara, you can say. And uh, they are, their presence are basically in tier one and uh, metro cities only. And we are uh, focused in tier two, three, and four cities. We are offering the affordable uh, uh, garments to the, our tier two, three, four, and customer, uh, the three, four customers. Mm -hmm. Basically, in the tier two, three, and four cities, the penetration of organized retail is uh, till 24 was only 30 percent, and uh, going uh, forward. It is projected to grow by 21 percent, Kega, yeah. till 27. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, good morning, gentlemen. Thanks a lot for joining in. Well, just to get that point out uh, with regard to your borrowings, you'll be debt-free post this, right? Post this issue. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. And what were your borrowing costs? I ask you this because last year your PAT was roughly around 22 crores. But on this, uh, you know, 170, 180 crores, there'll be some interest costs, which post being debt-free, it'll flow to the PAT. So, what was the rough interest cost last year? You were borrowing at around 10%, fair to assume? Uh, yeah, it was around... I hear you. Yeah. Shriyans, we can't hear you. It's 13 crore. Uh, am I audible? 13 crores, got it. So, that flows down then to your profitability. Got it. 13 crores was the interest cost. Tell us about the total number of stores that you plan on adding. And what about the geographic mix as well? As you'll have been mentioning, East is where you'll have higher amount of exposure. So where does this number head to? I'll just brief you. Uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, very clearly, Shriyans. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah I'll just brief you. Uh, we started our journey in 2013 from two stores in Bengal. Yes. And uh, in FI14, and as we speak, as of FI24, we had 162 stores across nine states, 146 cities, uh, almost covering 14.6 uh, lakh square feet of retail space. Basically, yes. what we have done is we have followed a cluster-based model uh, what exactly is cluster based model is that whenever we go deep into us, we are going to a state, we go deep into that state. We try to capture every district of that state so we can create a brand for building for us. We can create that brand loyalty among the consumers. Apart from that, our focus is majorly in tier two, tier three, tier four cities where the, as, as Pradeep said, the organized practitioner is very less. 
And what we are trying to do is that we are playing on three things. One is the variety of the articles, assortment that we create. Second thing is the experience. Uh, we try to create a shopping mall experience with a good premium feel, with air condition facility, exchange facility, dry run facility in tier two, tier three, tier four cities. And third is the creation of fashion altogether. So a mix of all the three things is helping us to have a higher traction of footfall. And as far uh, our intent is concerned, from FI 17 to FI 23, 24, we have grown at 26% CAGR in terms of revenue. And in last three years, from FI 22 to FI 24, we have uh, grown at around 32% in terms of CAGR. So our intent will be to uh, uh, grow in the existing cluster only because there's a huge room of uh, I scope that I see in these areas only. Sure. Uh, Mr. Agrawal, just to go back to the second part of my question. So I asked you about the debt and I also asked you why you were coming to the market. So if just expand on that, sir, because uh, like I said, only 150 crores is coming to the company. The rest is uh, offer for sale. And also, if you've had any conversations with some of the selling shareholders, uh, Mrs. Rekha Junjunwala is one of the shareholders who will be selling. Have you had any conversations? Will she continue to hold some stake in the company, even in the post-listing space and you know what the thought process is? Uh, why are you coming to the public apart from this OFS? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, late Rakesh invested in our company in the year 2017-18, and uh, he liked our model uh, very well. And uh, he think that uh, the tier two, three, and four cities will be grow uh, more and more, and. Uh, Rekha ji is selling only 50% of her holding and after uh, selling, after post-IPO, that uh, her holding will be around 3.9%. All right, uh, got it. Uh, we wish you uh, the best of luck, both of you. Thank you very much for joining us this morning and we'll uh, speak again on listing day. Thank you very much.